Hello, and welcome to another Urban Viking Hell review. As you can see, I've got a genuine Viking helm on. Um, it's definitely genuine. It was uh, bought off of eBay, so you know it must be. Uh, apparently, it belonged to um, King Harold Blodvard the Fourth, um, but he died in battle, and I happened to get it for free. All right, I'm going to take that off. It's quite sweaty actually. Um, right, okay. No, sorry about that. <laughs> Welcome to another Urban Viking Ale review. Um, today's ale is going to be a St. Peter's Ale. Um, just, sorry about this. Wasn't very prepared. Oh, actually, while I'm up, you can look at the back of my t shirt because there's a really nice band on there I'd like to promote. Whether you can see that name or not, I don't know. Um, British band, Old Corpse Road, play very good black metal. So yeah, a little shout out to them. Um, right, today I went to see Dave Moore from More and More Beer. Very nice chap, gave me a free glass. Uh, also gave me a very, very, very in-depth education on beers, various types, various hops. You know, and just uh, just in general, he's really really nice chap. He is. Uh, he, he didn't talk down to me in any way, you know, because obviously I'm I'm so new to this, and it must be frustrating for some people when you know they have to explain the the basics. But then again, if you've got a passion for it, then it, maybe it's not so much of a task. So anyway, St. Peter's Ruby Red Ale. There you go. Look at that Ruby Red Ale. Four point three percent, five hundred ml bottle. Lovely shape bottle that. Apparently it's um, based on the design from uh, the States in the 1700s, 1790s or something on the website. Um, yeah, St. Peter's Ale, uh, St. Peter's Brewery. Um, this one's a silver medal award winner, 2010. Sorry, excuse me, International Beer Challenge. So it's gonna be a nice one, I think. Uh, they're based in Suffolk. I've got a little bit of info written down here. South Elmham, is it? In Bungay, in Suffolk. Uh, yeah, St. Peter's Brewery. They've got quite a few different ones. So, yeah, if you want to check them out, stpetersbrewery.co.uk. Anyway, I want to crack this one open because I'm a bit thirsty. I've got to go out in the rain today to get all this. So, Oh, it's lovely. Just smelling that now. Very fruit, very, very fruity, very hoppy. Oh, it's a green bottle as well. I thought it was a brown bottle. But yeah, that was another little um, bit of information I got. Apparently, the green bottles, because I used to get beer in the green bottle and thought it tasted horrible. It had a really skunky, disgusting flavour. Apparently, it's because it's wheat hops uh, don't agree with green glass or something to do with that. But malt, malt hops, porters, you know, the green glass doesn't affect them. Um, okay, let's just pour this out. Yeah, very fruity, very hoppy. I'm even getting a, a chocolatey smell on that. Yeah, very slight, okay. That's a lovely colour, that. Okay, look at that, perfect. Yep. Slightly translucent, you can see slightly through it, not much. But yeah, it's a very dark, very dark L. Off, off white head, one finger, all that, yeah. Yeah, I can, I can still smell the chocolate on that. And the fruit, dark fruit, it's like sort of raisiny. I'm, I'm even getting a like a red apple, sort of really far back, like a red apple sort of smell. Yeah. Anyway, bottoms up. So give it a go. Thank you. 
really nice. It's quite smoky. You can't really taste the fruit. You can smell it, but you can't really taste it. It is there. It's very subtle in the background, but there's a lot of smoke going on in that, and not too much. Not disgusting smoke, but a nice, smooth, balanced smoke, <laughs> if that makes any sense. Um, and the fruit, yeah, you can still taste the dark fruit. Slight, slight taste of chocolate. I'll give it another, another go. Mmm, it's really, really nice. Yeah. I could drink a few of those, no problem. Yeah. Lovely jubbly. Okay. Ruby Red Ale. I've never really tried rubies. Um, so, yeah, I think I will in future. So, St. Peter's Brewery. Ruby Red Ale. 7 out of 10. Lovely. Really nice. Really nice smell. Yeah, I've got a couple more to review. Um, I might review another one tonight after I've had this one. Give it a couple of hours. Um, I've got a porter. I've also um, managed to pick up another Hunter's Full Bore because I bought it last time and this is when my knowledge was very, very low. I opened it up, poured it out, sediment everywhere, flat as a pancake. I thought, what's going on here? I've got an off beer. So, like an idiot, I went straight on to rate beer, gave it a low rating, which was wrong because, you know, I didn't give it a chance to settle. It was a bottle conditioned ale. I mean, back then I thought bottle conditioned meant drink it out of the bottle, don't put it in a glass. <laughs> but now I know. So, I'm going to give that one 24 hours to settle and I'm going to give that a review tomorrow. Oh, excuse me. A little bit of carbonation in that, not much. Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to that, and I've got a um, a funnel blower to review tonight, which is like a chocolate stout. I'm looking forward to that one. Okay, won't babble on anymore. Thank you very much for watching again. Hope you enjoyed the show, um, and I'll see you again very, very soon. Cheers from the Urban Viking. Rawr!